Hey guys, in this video I am going to do an unboxing of the LEGO Spike Prime Robotics Kit, which is used in an educational setting. And I'm also going to show you how you can unpack it all and then store it neatly inside of this tub ready for use inside of the classroom. So when you get the box sent to you, it comes in this yellow tub. And if we take off the white lid, we'll have a little look inside and see what goodies come inside of the kit. Now the first thing you're going to see is this cardboard flap. Uh, basically gives you a website on the front here that will get you started with your kit. If you head along to that site, you're going to have some how-to guides on how to get set up and also a heap of tutorials for making a stack of different robots. Um, a lot of really cool tutorials where you learn how to do some coding as well. So I definitely recommend checking out that website if you're a beginner to the robotics scene. On the back of that flap, you will see all the different Lego pieces that come inside of the kit. I believe there's over 600 of them. And it also shows you how you can store them inside of this tub nice and neatly. Over here, we've got a display of two of the trays that come inside of the kit, these two white things. Okay, and it shows you what Lego pieces need to be stored in each tray. Okay, so it's a really good set out um, and it doesn't take too long to unpack it all. So let's have a look at doing that in just a moment. If we lift these white trays out and have a look a little bit further inside, uh, you'll get your paperwork on the top, which is not important at all. So just chuck that in the bin. Um, and you'll then see all the different Lego pieces inside of there. Okay, they come in bags that are numbered, which is gonna make life easy when we come to putting them into these trays because you also get this sticker sheet. Now this sticker sheet has labeled all the compartments in these trays. Okay, so what we need to do is peel these stickers off and place them inside of the trays. Okay, so I might do that first and then we'll start unpacking the Lego. So, if you look at the diagram, it does show you at the top the numbers that go in each of the trays. So there's larger trays and smaller trays, as you can see there. Okay, so make sure you get the numbers in the right tray so all your Lego pieces fit in nicely. So let's have a look at number one. It says that number one is going in a large tray. So I'll get this set up like so. And we'll put in the number one sticker. Next to number one, we've got number two in a small compartment. So I put the number two sticker in. And number three, if I can get it out, goes in a small compartment as well. And number four goes in the final large compartment in that tray. There we go. So if you have a look at that now, you can see that we've got our stickers just inside of the trays. And it's quite easy to now go through the kits, for example, and find the bag that says number one, and open that up and put it into slot number one or compartment number one. Okay, and all those pieces fit perfectly in there. The plastic, just get rid of it. Okay, so just go through your kit, trying to find those different numbers um, on the plastic there. Eight, seven, eight. Of course, they're down the bottom. Here's number two. I'll open him up. Put him in the number two compartment. Number three. Oh, I've had a bit of a sh spill out there, but number three has all the little bits, of course, and they go into that third compartment. There. Of course, it comes with that extra little bag that you'll need to open up and chuck in as well, like so. Okay, haven't spilt anything else. Um, number four. In it goes. So that's one of our completed trays. It's as easy as that. So there's not much to it, just match them up with the stickers and you're done. So I'll put that one aside for a moment. And we'll do this final tray, which is gonna be five, six, seven, eight. So number five is going in the larger tray, so let's put that in. 
Next to that in a small tray, block number six. Number seven goes in the small tray as well. And number eight goes in the large one that's left over. Okay, so put those stickers aside for a second and start unloading the last of them. So, number eight. Number five. Number seven. Number seven comes with a little cardboard pack, which is some rubber bands. So just open them up. It's only two of them. Pull them out, whack them in. Okay, what am I missing? Number six. Here it is, number six. Now, number six, you get this blue piece. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but it's the only blue piece in there. And you get a white ball as well. So can you please connect them together? They go together, whack them in. Okay, so that's both our trays done and dusted. But you'll notice that you've still got leftovers in your kit. So moving them aside for a moment, you can still see you've got quite a bit of junk there in your kit. So what we're gonna do is have a look at all of that now. So I'm gonna tip it all out. All right, and let's have a look. The bigger com um, components of the Lego, they just go straight into your tub. So just straight in like so. Um, got some blue components that are quite large, so they can go straight in. Inside of this box is your hub. So just cut him open or pick the sticky tape off. The hub is the brains of the robot. It comes in two, two sections. The smaller yellow bit is the battery. Okay, and then this part here is the main body and the battery just slips into that section. You'll see there's a little groove at the top of one end of the battery and the hub there. So just make sure the groove matches up and then just push it in, whoops, riding side down. So you don't see the riding when you push it in. Okay, so that's your hub. That goes straight into the kit as well. Now remember before you use your Lego for the first time, that hub needs to be fully charged. So make sure you use your USB cable here to charge it up either through your computer or through a PowerPoint if you have an adapter for it. So that goes straight into the box as well. Now you're gonna see a few different motors. We've got two small motors and a large motor. Okay, just Cut them open, pull them out of their plastic bags and throw them, or gently place them is a better word, straight into the tub. Okay, so you can see the difference in size actually here. I'll show you very quickly. And two motors, okay, big and small. And there you go. So two small motors, one large are now in the kits. Uh, we've also got a couple of sensors. We've got a little colour sensor here. So the smaller of the two sensors. This one here is the colour sensor. That goes straight into your tub along with the final one here, which are the eyes of the robot, the distance sensor. That tells you how far away you are from particular objects. All right, so. Actually, we've got one more sensor here I've forgotten about, the force sensor. So if you hit a wall or hit some sort of object, this little component here, you can push it in out there. That will sense the amount of um, pressure against that end bit there and give you a reading on how hard you've hit the wall or hit an opponent in a robot sumo tournament, whatever you're doing. Um, now the other three bags are the bigger pieces. The blue and black bag, that can go straight into the tub. So open him up, chuck him straight in. The one with the wheels in it, with the pink and black components, there's a few bits we need to take out of this and put into the trays. So open up carefully. Whoops, there goes a the wheel. Get that later. <laughs> 
Your wheels go straight into the tub, along with um, the large pink pieces. They don't go in the trays. There's also two grey looking tubes here. Um, they go straight into the tub as well. The rest of the items though will be going in the trays. So I want you to look for the two black pieces that have the ribbed edges on them. It's these two pieces here, probably a bit hard to see on the camera. Uh, but they will be going into number seven compartment on our tray. And then the rest of the pieces, the long skinny ones, they go into compartment number eight, just next to it. It does fill the tray up pretty high, but they will fit in there. And that's your trays all completed now. The last bag, which is number 13, are simply leftover pieces or extra pieces in case you lose some bits and bobs in your um, tray. So I would keep that in its package for now until you lose a few pieces, then you can top up your compartments with these extra pieces. So that can just go straight into the tub. All right, so looking in the tub there now, everything is unpacked. There's plenty of room still in there for half-built robots as you work on different projects. Um, might throw my stickers in down there. I forgot to tell you with the stickers too, you've got some stickers at the bottom here where you can actually label all your motors and hubs. So if you grab a pen, you can just write something like, SP and whatever number hub you want to call it. Peel it off. And then stick it on. So I just use SP for spike prime, and put a number at the end. Uh, so make sure you label all the different motors and sensors as well as the tub as well. It's probably a good idea to put SP on this big sticker. Peel it off and stick it on the yellow tub as well. So that way you don't get all the different um, bits and pieces confused with other students' tubs in the class, okay? So I'll do that labeling a bit later on, but you know what to do. So stickers go in, trays go on top. Like so. Put the cardboard on like that and the lid finish off and they store quite nicely either in trolleys or in cupboards. Okay, so that's basically what your Lego Spike Prime kit comes with and how I would set it up for classroom use. I will be making some more video tutorials in the near future on how to create some basic robots and we'll do some coding uh, with those as well. So I will catch you in those videos.